Who doesn't love a game of rock, paper, scissors? But what if everyone else in the house is busy or you just want a fun coding project that allows you to play once you're done? In this video, I'll show you how to code Coopers to play the classic game. And it's a chance to learn about variables, random numbers, loops, and the if-then blocks in Scratch 3.0. So this is the code here, written in the Q Code app. Let's take a closer look. I'll tell you later on in the video where you can download a copy of the file so you can play for yourself. So hang on for that. I made a variable in Q code called sensor stage, which basically monitors which point we're at in the game. When we're playing rock, paper, scissors, we move a hand down, then up three times with a hand and a fist. When we move a hand down for the fourth time, it's in the shape of either the rock, paper, or scissors. At that point, Cooper should display its choice. Let's see that again, and this time we'll keep an eye on that variable. You'll see that everything after that point is enclosed in a forever loop. We then have a series of if-then blocks. So if sensor stage is equal to zero and you move your hand close to the ultrasonic sensor, less than 25 centimeters away, then you hear a beep and sensor stage is set to one. The program keeps whirring around that forever loop until the next condition is true. If sensor stage is equal to one and you lift your hand so the distance between the ultrasonic sensor and you is greater than 40 centimeters, then we hear another beep and sensor stage increases to two. This sequence repeats as you move your hand down, then up, then down, then up again. Finally, it's time for the last if then block and for Coopers to make its choice. If sensor stage equals six and the ultrasonic sensor detects your hand at a distance less than 25 centimeters, then we hear a beep and the variable sensor stage is set to zero, ready for the next game. Next, another variable called random is, believe it or not, set to a random number between one and three. If random equals one, the image of a rock is displayed in the LED matrix. If random equals two, we see this image, which represents paper, and if it's equal to three, we get a pair of scissors displayed in the LED matrix. After three seconds, the screen's cleared and we're ready to play again. Now, in order for the program to work, you'll need to take note of which port the ultrasonic sensor's plugged into. I have it in port number two. The same goes for the LED matrix, which you can see I've plugged into port seven. If you know anything about the various forms that it can take, then you'll know I have Coopers built as the Cavalier, but it can be built any way you like, as long as you connect the ultrasonic sensor and LED matrix. If you want to download the code for this game, then I have a link to where you can get it in the description below. I'd also be keen to hear if you have any other suggestions for games I could write which include Coopers. Feel free to write them in the comments, and if I choose yours, then I'll give you a shout out in the next video. If you don't have your own Coopers, then I also have a code in the description that you can use to get 10% discount online. If you've enjoyed this video, then why not give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so that you're made aware when new ones come out. If you have an interest in STEM robotics, then why not take a look at some of the other videos in this series. See you next time.